number nine a uh, circular cylinder tank having a base diameter of one meter and a depth of two meters is partly filled with water when its axis is horizontal the water is two-thirds of the diameter how deep will the water be when its axis is vertical so first we uh, illustrate what is given so here we have a, a cylinder on its horizontal position so we draw first huh? okay so here is the uh, cylinder horizontal position and a cylinder on its vertical position okay so this is horizontal position vertical position now according to the problem uh, the water level when in horizontal position is actually two-thirds of the diameter so we draw we draw here this is actually the base of the cylinder so we draw here so we know that the uh, diameter is one meter so this is one meter and the level of the water here is two thirds. So this is two thirds. Okay. That is given. So here is the water level. So okay, that is the water. Now, we are asked to find the level of water in inside the cylinder when the cylinder is in vertical position. Let's say we assume the water level is here. Okay? So, now, this is our problem. So, the problem will be this will be our H okay okay first we focus here because we need to find the area of this portion the area of the water here in the circle uh, so that we can get the volume okay so we enlarge the circular base of the cylinder make it big make it big okay so we know here is the center so we know that this is the radius and the radius is one half okay and the water level is somewhere here that is two-thirds it's greater than one half of course so this is the water level two-thirds okay so in order to to find this area here we need to solve for the area of the triangle here okay and then the area of the sector here so to do that we need to determine the difference between the height of the water and the radius okay but first let me call this point a this point b uh, point c and then this is the difference between the height of the water and the radius 
I call this point D. Okay? So we know that the radius is one half. So this is one half. Okay? And I call this this one here to be theta. And then I call this one the difference between the height of the water and the radius to be y. Okay? So, we focus on triangle BCD. Okay? So, in triangle BCD, so that we can determine y. So, y is equals to the height of the water, that is two-thirds, minus the radius, that is one-half. Okay? So, it's equals to six for three. So, y is equals to one over six. So, this is our y. So, now we can get the distance dc by Pythagorean theorem. So, so DC, so by Pythagorean theorem, DC, uh, DC squared is equals to, this is DC, so hypotenuse will be one half. So, it's equals to 1 half squared minus y, 1 over 6 squared, okay? So, dc will be equal to the square root of 1 half squared minus 1 over 6 squared. So, therefore, we have dc is equals to okay, compute. Uh, DC will be equal to 0 0.4714 okay so that is DC so therefore if this is DC so we will know the distance AC okay because AC is equals to 2 times DC okay so AC is equals to 2 times uh, DC our DC is 0 0.4714 so AC is equals to uh, 0 0.9428 okay uh, that is meters okay so so I put here meters. So we know now the base. We know now the height of the triangle. So we may able to get the area of this triangle ABC. So, so area of the triangle ABC is equals to one half base times height. So one half. Our base is actually AC times the height is y okay so we substitute so ac is actually 0 0.9428 times y 1 over 6 so we have uh, the area of the triangle will be equal to 0 0.0786 square meters this is the area of the triangle ABC so we are not done yet so we need to find the area of the sector okay so in order to find the area of the sector we need to determine this angle here but to determine the angle here we can find angle theta okay in triangle uh, BCD so angle theta is actually equal to uh, by uh, 
So angle theta to, to find theta. So yeah, to find theta, we have cosine theta is equals to uh, one over six. That is supposed to be our y here over the hypotenuse of one half. Okay. So. So theta is equals to uh, inverse cosine of one third. So theta is equals to seventy point fifty five degrees. Okay, so this is theta. And then we can get this angle here. This angle here is actually 2 theta. Okay? So, we go to another sheet. Okay? So, if that is 2 theta, so therefore, if that is 2 theta, uh, our alpha, oh, we call this alpha, huh? the angle alpha, angle alpha will be equal to 360 degrees minus 2 theta okay so angle alpha is equals to 360 minus 2 theta so 360 minus 2 what is our theta our theta is 70.55 degrees okay 70.55 degrees so this is equal to oh sorry seventy point fifty three degrees okay seventy point fifty three degrees okay fifty three and then our alpha will be equal to to one eight point ninety four degrees so now we are ready to find the area of the sector. So the area of the sector will be like this. So area of the sector is equals to alpha over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Okay? So what is alpha? So our alpha is equals to 218.94 over 360 times 3.1416 what is r our r is one half squared so and the area of the sector will be equal to 0 0.4 uh, square meters so knowing that we are ready to find the area of this section. Yeah? Oh, sorry. We are now ready to find the area of this section so that we can multiply it by its. Oh, wait, there is another given here. Told us that the depth of the cylinder is actually 2 meters. Okay? So the depth is actually the height of the the height of the uh, cylinder so this is two meters okay so so since we know the area of this section we multiply it by two so we can get the volume of the water inside the cylinder in horizontal position so remember that the volume in the horizontal position the volume of water in horizontal position is equal to the volume of water in the vertical position okay so we get now the volume of the uh, total area first of the section so area total is equals to area of triangle ABC plus area of the sector Okay. The area of the uh, 
triangle ABC is equal to we have it here area of triangle ABC is equal to this one 0 0.0786 plus the area of the sector is this one 0 0.4777 so we have the total area of the section will be equal to 0 0.5563 square meters so the volume of the water in the horizontal position is equals to the area of the section or area total multiplied by the the length or the depth of the cylinder so 0 0.5563 times 2 okay so the length of the cylinder will be uh, 2 meters when in horizontal position it's actually the height of the cylinder in vertical position okay so we have the volume of the water inside the cylinder in horizontal position will be equal to 1.1126 cubic meter okay it's cubic meter so therefore since we know that the uh, volume of the water inside the cylinder is equal to uh, uh, vertical position so volume of water in vertical position vertical is equals to volume of water in horizontal position okay so so we know that the uh, volume of the cylinder in its uh, vertical position would be equal to the area of the base times the uh, the height okay so we we substitute the area since the area of the vertical position is equals to the horizontal position equals to uh, area area of the base times the the height of the water okay so area of the base is pi r squared so times the height so therefore we can get h is equals to 1.1126 by 1 half squared or h is equals to uh, 1.4166 meters so this will be the height the height of the uh, uh, water inside the cylindrical tank when in vertical position so this one okay this one here okay so in horizontal position we have the height of water of two-thirds in vertical position the height will be equal to 1.4166 meters okay okay that's it